Jared here, and I'm coming to you from my house today. Hmm, how about that? Uh, Lindsay and I did have a few travel plans, but those plans have been canceled because our state has gone into partial shutdown again. What that means is the schools have closed, so my children are at home for three weeks, and then some other stuff that doesn't really affect us, like it affects most people, but just not us. Bars, restaurants, bowling alleys, stuff like that is shut down. So far, you can, we're not shelter in place, so you can still go to work. Uh, the gym is still open, so I can still exercise. And I, I've got another place that I do uh, physical training activity, and also I can continue to do that for right now. However, I do think that probably that's going to change in the next week or two. But until then, I'll still go to the gym. But what all that means is we probably won't be going anywhere for a while. Probably the rest of the year, to be honest with you. Uh, I've had a few cases even at work. Lindsay's had a few cases at work, so even the way work is handling the coronavirus cases, uh, it's not really looking favorable to go and travel somewhere out of state, so there you go. I probably go back to making these little home vlogs once in a while. It's not really my favorite thing to do, but I do like making videos, and if I can't go out and make videos, I don't want to wait like another two months before I do something and I figure the holidays coming up I know a lot of people do sort of do even if they don't usually vlog uh, oftentimes people will do like the whole month of December something like that I'm not committing to that I will probably do maybe a couple of videos a week it depends on how busy I get I plan on doing a couple this week because I'm actually on vacation I took a few days because like I said my kids are home for school so I figured I'd go ahead and take uh, this is Thanksgiving week I'm coming into. I actually had a lot of vacation I had to burn up here in the end of the year because you couldn't do anything the rest of the year and I've been working at my job for about 20 years or close to, it's not 20 it's coming up on 20 here fairly soon and I have a lot of vacation time. I can roll over a few days but not enough of it so I kind of had this like mass vacation spending time here at the end of the month like we were off the last week of October I was off three or four days last week and then went ahead and took some days this week and I still have a lot of days to burn. I think I might roll those ones over. It, it just depends. It depends on what's going on with the schools and my kids. So I think today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go run out to the gym, work out, and then come home and maybe we'll talk some more. Maybe show you a few of the things I've been working on and some of the stuff that I'm hoping to get done during this week off. Still help here at the gym, just about done. Been here almost two hours and I was just thinking that, man, it takes me longer to warm up and cool down than it takes to do the actual workout. As you can see here, now, I am in the dry sauna. It's very hot in here. I'm very fortunate that this particular gym that I've been a member of for a little bit, about 15 years, and then the one prior, like five years, something like that. But anyway, I'm very fortunate both of them have had a dry sauna so I've been using this thing 18 to 20 years as part of my post workout recovery helps with soreness at least it helps me I guess there's other health benefits people like to talk about but you can look those up yourself my primary use has just been to for muscle recovery I feel a lot better a lot more relaxed less pain when I'm done with this and like I said about 18, 20 years I've been using this thing with a heavy emphasis on it the last five or six because I've noticed I get a lot, a lot more sore anymore. So about five, six years ago I started using it every single workout. Uh, before it was just sporadic. It was just when I had time. Now I make time for it. <laughs> I'll actually lift or exercise less to make sure I can get 20 to 25 minutes here. So I just... Come in here, throw a pair of shorts on, do some stretches, just sit, think, meditate. It's pretty great, man. It's like my own fortress of solitude, but instead of it being in the cold Arctic, it's very hot. I'm uh, back home now, and I'm just kind of sitting here relaxing, drinking a turmeric or turmeric protein shake, which is gross, and I'll get to that in a minute, but. It's been snowing all day, so I'm kind of just sitting here watching it snow. Uh, fortunately, the ground is a bit too warm right here right now, so even though it's been snowing all day, 
there's not a whole lot of accumulation. Like there's one or two yards in my neighborhood that are covered, but the vast majority of them, including mine, you can still see quite a bit of lawn. I don't know if that's going to change overnight. I don't know how long it's supposed to snow. It was a bit of a surprise to me when I woke up and it was snowing and now it's about five o'clock and still snowing. Who knows what's going to happen tonight, but back to this shake. I don't know if anybody's ever had, I don't know if it's turmeric or turmeric. I don't know how to say it. I started trying it because supposedly it has anti-inflammatory properties. And while that sauna that I was talking about greatly helps me with my body recovering, I don't feel as bad. Uh, lately, I've been pretty sore, so I thought I would try this turmeric. It had been suggested to me. But the problem is, dude, it is gross. Uh, I put a scoop of protein in there, and I'm not a big protein shake guy. I never have been, but you need something to mask the taste. So if anybody has any suggestions, if you're a big turmeric or turmeric, or if you say it a different way, I don't know. But anyway, if you use that powder and you've got like a good recipe that doesn't taste like um, death, let me know. It may look like I haven't <laughs> tried this one yet, but I have. My blender made more than it would fit in this glass, so I put it in, drank some of it, and then put the rest. But this is a teaspoon of uh, turmeric, a scoop of protein, about a tablespoon of coconut oil, I put some honey in it. I used almond milk instead of regular milk. I do drink regular milk. I don't like it, but I usually have, you know, a little bit of it to the, a little bit of it, but I already had some today and didn't want to have too much, so I tried the vanilla almond milk. And then I heard, or read, to put pepper in it, like ground pepper for the absorption. And it's not good, not at all. Now that I'm done drinking that garbage turmeric shake, I'll come downstairs to show you a couple things that I'm working on. This guy was a scarecrow that I had, did some work on, or made, in October. I never got to finish him because I went out of town, and I was actually going to make a video on him. Here he is. Almost done. Still got a few things to do to him. Uh, notably, or the main thing I want to do to him is wrap him in vines. And I'm going to make them, these are an example of something that I've made using, uh, it's kind of like cheesecloth, but it's a little bit different material. And I would just bunch it up with latex and paint. And it makes a, doesn't look exactly like a pumpkin vine, but it looks pretty creepy. But the problem is, once they dry, you can't really manipulate it very well. So you got to kind of do it on it wet and match the color up. I probably won't do that this week. On my week off, I probably won't have time, but I would like to finish him at some point. He's made out of PVC pipe, garbage bags, uh, great stuff. And then just, to, I did a paint job on him. And like I said, pretty cool. I've made a lot of scarecrows over the years, similar to the style. This is a pumpkin that I um, bought <laughs> and then rotted up. You know what, I, maybe in the future, I did film a lot of these steps. Maybe I'll sort of put that out, but we're not gonna worry about that. The project that I am gonna work on today is this room over here. Now I had mentioned back when I first did a vlog during shelter in place that, my, that this room was a room that I wanted to do some work on because it didn't look very good. I'll see if I can post that link so you can see what it looked like before I started. I've only slowly been working on it. I have not made it a big priority, but it does look drastically different than it did. I painted the ceiling black. Well, first I removed all the drop ceiling. I hate drop ceiling. I still have some remnants. I shouldn't say all of it because it's holding these lights up. We have to figure out a different lighting option. But anyway, painted it, put trim up laid some wood floor but today I have to finish the trim that's what I'm gonna work on I'm not gonna get it done and show it because I've got to cut the boards and paint them and they won't be ready to put up until tomorrow for this block wall back here what I'm gonna do is put wood slatting or like I don't know what you would go I guess maybe it's called barn wood something similar to that I don't know if I'm gonna do it this week uh, I don't know if I'll have time 
And I may not want to necessarily spend the money just on based on everything that's going on, of course. But who knows? Maybe I will. I have to ignore all the toys. I had it nice and clean in here. But then my youngest decided to put all this stuff back in here and play. And then, yeah, ignore my little exercise mats I got there for working out. But anyway, I'm going to get on it. I'm going to finish at least that portion of it today. And who knows? Or I'm sorry, I won't finish it. I'm going to start it. I'm going to paint them. Tomorrow's when it'll actually get done. And then I'll make a decision on this. Maybe I'll work on it this week. Maybe I won't. So I finished up cutting my trim and painted it. Now it's drying overnight. And it's getting late and I'm getting tired. So I think I'm going to finish making some pumpkin puree that I started. I'll show that in a minute. And some hot cocoa. The hot chocolate that I'm going to make is from the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook, which I didn't even know we had. But apparently we have this, and a Warcraft cookbook, and a Hearthstone cookbook, all kinds of stuff. My wife's been hoarding these. Now she's made it once before. I've never made it. She's tired. I'm not, I guess. So I'm going to make it tonight. And here's the ingredients. It looks like I am going to exceed my milk quota for the day because I have to put it into this cocoa. Oh, and here's my pumpkins. They're cooling right now. They have to cool for about another 45 minutes before I can make the puree. That's for tomorrow. So I'm not really going to be able to show myself physically making this. You're just going to take my word for it because I don't have any help tonight with the camera. My wife is really tired and busy. So what we're going to do is this is a cup of water, a half a cup of sugar, four teaspoons of instant coffee, and then I'm going to need four tablespoons of this cocoa. I gotta take all this, heat it up at once until it boils, and then once it starts boiling, remove it from the heat, and stir in one full chocolate bar, or those Giordani chocolate bars. Maybe I can kind of one hand this. Well, everything we make, I don't understand why it has to have so much sugar in it. Seemed like a lot of sugar. Or some hot cocoa. And this is gonna be my life for the next few minutes until this boils. Pretty exciting, huh? Skipped ahead a little bit here. A word of warning when that water cocoa mix is ready, dude, it starts like foaming up. You have to be quick, so that's why you have to constantly stir it. Took it off, dumped the bar in, smat, or no. Stirred it all up, melted it in there, put it right back on, lower heat, and then added four cups of milk, and then I add some vanilla, and now I'm gonna add the super secret ingredient. Turmeric powder, that way nobody enjoys it. Pretty good, I couldn't help but think while I was making that uh, Harry Potter hot chocolate that it just seems like a regular Hot chocolate recipe. I don't know what's so special about that versus other chocolate. I think it's a little bit of a stretch to put that in a Harry Potter cookbook and then sell it to people. But anyway, that is going to do it for me today. A little quick video. Eventually we'll get back to traveling. I don't know how long we'll be doing these little uh, vlog videos. At least tomorrow because I'm going to make those pumpkin bars and I'm pretty excited about that. So I'll do that at the very least. Other than that, man, we're just going to take it day by day, so thanks for watching.